if you was to go on a park, park heights area right now and mention David May to any mechanic or me I, I could promise you they would tell you, yeah, he taught me this. Oh, he showed me this. Oh, yeah, that was the one that did this. Oh, yeah, that was the best mechanic. Oh, yeah, he was good at what he did. Oh, yeah, he this. I promise you wouldn't hear nothing bad. They're gonna, that's a hard working, educated man. With, and let me say this again that's an educated man without an education, because he didn't have an education. It's like some like uh, life advice that daddy gave you or, or some skills that daddy taught you when you growing up. My father was everything, you feel me? Like he was the breadwinner, he was the everything. You could think about it, provider, the fixer, everything. So it was nothing that go unnoticed, you feel me? And I was the type of guy that I used to be around my father a lot. So everything he did, I always wanted to know what was he doing? What was he doing? How did he do it? He taught me how to be a man before I became a man. So I already knew the steps to take when it was time for me to actually put what he took into real life. It's definitely impacted a lot of people, people that even wasn't even his kids, like just neighborhood friends. Kid for the first time, like what, heard it. What did, what did that feel like? For them to know that they had an awesome <laughs> grandfather like that that they never got to meet. Come on, you know how our father was, especially with kids. I want my son to look at me like how I looked at my father. You feel me? Not even just my son, my daughter too. You feel? I want both of them to look at me like how I looked at my father. Like I swear, like I was the same way, the same as that way, and I try to start like just. Try to be there and support them as much as possible. What do you want your legacy to be? I just want them to know that they had a, a good father, like I had a great father, and also a mother that absolutely loved me. You feel me? And absolutely did everything that was possible to make things happen in their life. For the, uh, the fathers out there, you know, don't think they can do it. You know, what do you, what do you say to them? There's no such thing as you don't think you can do it. Or I can't. You can't say that. I didn't know people that had failed multiple times, and then that thousand time they got it right. If you if you could talk to uh, daddy right now, what would you say to him? Yeah, <laughs> I tell him I miss him. I, man, it be just this is so much that I would want to say, but. Oh, man, it's crazy, man. I, I, to be honest, I don't need, what could I see? What could I? I mean, I could just tell him what's going on here, but what, I can't question the most high. I feel like he needed them more than we needed them. He, my father gave us what he came down here to do. He gave us the plan. He gave us this. You feel me? He got a journey somewhere else that he needed to complete. There's other people that probably need that same hug. The Beach is what I have you seen that short film? Yeah, I seen it. When you, when you saw that film for the first time, what, what did you think? It just brought a hell of memories. It's like every week we used to pack in that van and just go to that damn beach. Every week, 
And then to see somebody bringing like what he really did in real life and putting it on a big platform, I applaud it. I applaud it. Like, yes. I mean, at least I know that he left a legacy. And I'm not the only one that sees it, you feel me? Thank you for watching this episode of Waves. I'm on a mission right now to create my first feature film titled Senior. It's a story about fatherhood. And right now we are in pre-production and I wanna bring you along. You can support right now by liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel, donating to help us bring this story to life, and clicking the link in the description to find out more about our project. I'll see you next time on Waves.